Hi everybody, this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Creative Place and I'm back with card number four from our Kindness Gnomes online class and this will be the final card for this class. If you wanted to join the class, all you had to do was order the bundle with the host code that I would give you and then you will receive the card kit for free. So on this card, I've also brought in the embossing folder, the Evergreen Trees. Um, now, if you don't have this one, you have a different tree one, use that. Use whatever you want. I just wanted some design behind the card. So this is what I used. Um, this is the card that we're going to make. This is a very, very simple, quick, easy card because we are using the paper. Let me bring in the gnome paper. This gnome paper has a ton of designs on it, lots of them. These even cut out the little gnomes for you. I, I love this paper, but one of the papers that we're using, sheets, is this one right here. And they have mooses, and they have little people with little bunnies, and little... And all I did was I took a punch. You can use any punch that you want. I took a pattern punch and I cut out the shape of this little cluster right here that we're going to use on our cards. If you make Christmas cards, this would be the quickest Christmas card that you could do. This is such a fast card to make. It's done in no time. So let's get started on the card. First thing we have to do is we have a five and a half by four and a or eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock here and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter and then we are going to fold that right in half. I mean this card literally does not have much to it at all. So I'm really like you guys are going to be amazed. So we are going to take this piece of soft succulent and I want it closer to this side of the paper because I want these taller trees or the embossing folder. So we're going to put this here right about there and I'm going to put it down. I'm going to bring in the big guy here. I'm going to need platform one and platform four because that is what we need to use for our embossing. Always platform four is the gray one. You're going to put this in so that the folded part is facing in and it goes through first. Then add your platform four on and we're going to run it through the machine. Okay. And let's get this out here. Now we're going to take this out. Maybe. There we go. Sometimes they like to static cling in there. I am going to take my ribbon here and I've got extra ribbon. The reason why is we're going to make a cheat bow. I tell everybody it's the cheat knot. So you just need a little bit that hangs over on both sides and then you're going to cut it. Okay. Then I think I have this. Let me see. Let me just get our card back in here. There we go. It's right about here, I would say, is where I got it. And I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to put a little bit of snail right there and a little bit of snail right there on the opposite side. Now I just slid my ribbon. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's, there we go. Stay put. Now I'm going to look at this. I'm going to actually put a little bit more snail there. I'm going to look at this. Once I get one side down, I look at it to make sure I have it straight because I've put it on there before and it's been cricket. So, so then I'm going to do that right there. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to use liquid glue. I almost used my, I'm going to use liquid glue because I don't want to ruin any of my embossed pieces here or squish the embossing on the card. And then we're going to put this right down on top, just like that. Hold it down for a minute so that it attaches to your card paper. 
And then we're going to take this little piece. Now, I trimmed my nails today, can't pick anything up. Um, this one has got the little bunny and the two little gnomes, so I used this one. In the original one, I used the little moose with the little um, gnome there. So that you guys will get that piece, but I wanted to use a different one. So we're going to put this little guy right here, but before we do that, we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of it. So we're going to add some to the top of it, and then some to the bottom, because the ribbon is going across the middle. Okay. And we're going to do this, and then we're going to put this little guy right here, just like that. To make the cheat knot, all you do is slide this ribbon underneath the ribbon that you just put down and make a knot. If you can pick up the, the ribbon. <laughs> and then we'll pull it through. Okay, I had it, and then I let go of it. There we go. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Pull it through, make a little knot like that. And then you would take your ribbon scissors and just trim it up. I sent this adorable. I absolutely love it. And then you have this extra long, very long piece of Whisper White. Um, I gave it to you in case you made a couple mistakes or, I don't know, decided you wanted to do it different than the way I did it. So however you want to do it, and I'm stamping this in soft succulent. I'm going to stamp it closer to the side. Sorry if my head's in the camera, and I had to pull it closer to me. Oh, that is so crooked. We're going to try that again. Okay, I'm definitely going to get this closer to me. Out of camera. Okay. There we go. Much better. <laughs> so we got that done. We'll put that away. And then all I did was I took my scissors again and I just cut at an angle. And I left it this size. Now I did put some snail on the back of this one. And I am just going to put it right about here. Like that. And then I took these little red and green adhesive black pearls. And there's some green ones in here. These are the little green. And I just added three of these. And once I did that, oh, I lost one. I felt like it came all together. Please share my videos, like my videos, comment on my videos. It helps me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out with me for this little series of the Kindness Gnomes online class. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.